What's up everyone, my name is Speedstreak and welcome to my reaction to the Sonic Mania New Zone Reveal and the Sonic Forces Gameplay Reveal. Now when I first saw these videos on the Sonic Livestream, they look really, really, really cool. But now that they're uploaded to YouTube, they look a lot clearer now. So, without further ado, let's just sit back, relax, and watch the Sonic footage. Okay, so the first video that we have here is the Sonic Mania trailer, and it shows us that the new zone is the Flying Battery Zone, which was originally from Sonic 3 Knuckles. And from the looks of it, the graphics look amazing! I mean, look at this! Christian Whitehead has done his work. I mean, this level looks very promising, I can tell you that. And from what I can tell, that Robotnik must have brought in some trash, well, from his former Badniks. And that is actually pretty cool. I mean, I really like on how Sonic Team is bringing back old zones to Sonic Media, as well as revealing new zones. Oh yeah, when during the live stream, Aaron Weber and Tadashi Zuka and Roger Craig Smith and Mike Pollock reveals a new zone, which is very pixelated. But in the near future, we might know what the new zone is. So, who knows? Okay, so the next view that we have here is the modern Sonic gameplay footage from Sonic Forces, which we now know is the main title for Sonic Project 2017. And from what I can tell from the graphics, it already looks awesome. I mean, Sega Team has made a new engine for this particular game called the Hedgehog Engine 2, which is a vast improvement from the Hedgehog Engine 1. And from the gameplay footage, it is reminiscent to the Sonic Colors, Sonic Unleashed, and Sonic Generations gameplay as well. It already looks awesome, but take note, this is only an early draft of the Sonic gameplay footage. So, we'll be getting something completely different in the endgame. But, it already looks awesome, and I want to get this game already. I mean, I really like on how they brought a darker tone to the Sonic Forces game, but it's not going to be dark all the way throughout the, the entire game. This is like one of the many places which is going to be a bit darker. Okay, so that was footage from both Sonic Forces and Sonic Mania, and from what I could tell, I have high hopes for both games. For Sonic Mania, I am glad that they're bringing back another classic level. It gives out a bit more of the nostalgia to playing classic Sonic games, as well as introducing new levels, which helps with the new gameplay as well. Now, and for more good news in Sonic Mania, they're delaying the game release to summer 2017. And that's good because as, as long as Sega has more time to fix up Sonic Mania, it'll be a lot better when it comes out. Now for Modern Sonic's gameplay footage in Sonic Forces, I did say earlier that it looks reminiscent to Sonic Unleashed, Sonic Colors, and Sonic Generations. And Despite being early footage of the game, it looks really, really, really cool. I hope in the final game it will have the official boost mechanics, the homing signal attacks, the 2D side-scrolling parts of Sonic's gameplay, and the light speed dash sections of the game as well. Although we don't have any footage of classic Sonic's gameplay or the third type of gameplay, the game is really cool. I just want to buy it right now. I have actually pretty high hopes for it. We don't know what the third type of gameplay is or the third character is, but hopefully in the months ahead we'll be able to see more information about Sonic Forces. Oh yeah, some of Sonic's friends are also in the game as well, but as NPCs. But we can still see them. The, the friends that are confirmed are Knuckles, Tails, Amy, and the Chaotix. Actually, to be honest, we haven't seen the Chaotix ever since Sonic Generations. And we'll, I think sometimes we'll be able to see them, but they also will be able to communicate Sonic via a radio. So that way they'll help them know what's going on. And be like, okay Sonic, go this way. Or, okay Sonic, this happened. Or, I don't know. And, this, and if this level gives you a kind of a... Sonic 06 vibe is because it's being produced by none other than Shun Nakamura, the producer of Sonic 06 itself. And what he said about the plot is that Eggman has conquered the world, so what was Sonic doing until then? We don't know, but as 
I said earlier in the months ahead, and we'll get more information about that as well. Okay, so that's all for all my opinions in for Sonic Mania and Sonic Forces right now. I have a lot more to discuss about it, but I'll talk about it in the future videos ahead. So, thank you everyone so much for watching. It, if you like this video, you can click like, leave a comment about it, and you can share it with a friend if you want to. And be sure to check out my other Let's Play videos, and there's going to be more reaction videos coming soon. So once again, thank you everyone so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Speed Streak.